Hi, today we're going to be looking at another vacuum from Debeya. This isn't a robot vacuum, but a stick vacuum. It's called the F6, and it looks like a Dyson. Here's my Dyson V6, and I'm going to be showing you how this vacuum performs, the features, what comes with it. But first, let's open it up and see what's inside. Just got this the other day. And I'm excited to see how this vacuum performs and if it's a good alternative to the Dyson. And let's just bring out everything one by one. We just move this back here. Okay now, this is the main motor and handle here. And it looks pretty similar to the Dyson, but I'm, I'm going to be showing you a side-by-side -side later. And here is the main, this is the main cleaning head. This is the main motorized brush. You can see it also, uh, it also swivels from side to side, but it's kind of narrow and if you look at the bristles, it's kind of soft here. These are the bristles. And let's see what else we got here. We got this um, adapter. I don't know what's this for. We'll find out later on. You'll get this plug here. We've got a, um, this is the crevice and the brush tool. So when you pull this out, it turns to a brush. And when you pull it back, it's a crevice tool. Now here's the Debeya um, vacuum. And here's a Dyson. This is a V6 mattress. Let's see. The, the, the Bay is taller, a bit, a bit taller, and it doesn't have any HEPA filter here. This is the, this is the motor here, the exhaust from the motor. Wind comes out. There's no filter here, and when you look at the, the size of the bin, it's almost. It seems like Dyson has a slightly big, slightly wider dust cup. I, I'm not gonna open this because it's filled up with dirt, but I'm gonna open this so it opens when you pop pop out these two clips here, and it and it pulls down. So let's try to take it off. I'm not sure how this goes. Okay. So this is the. Cyclonic filtration, their version, at least the Bayes version of a cyclonic filter. And I'm not sure how to open this, but let's try. It seems like you have to twist this around. And this is the filter that comes along with the with the F6, the Bayer F6. It's I'm not sure if this is HEPA. I'll have to check. Again, for more information, if you want more details, click on the description below for the link to the review. And Halloween is fast approaching. And if you're looking for deals, great deals, Gearbest has some great deals. Again, I'll post the link to the promo below at the description. Please check that out. So now this is the... Okay, now trying to figure out how to use this vacuum and this is a pretty sizable bin no it's not really sizable it's it's pretty small when you look at it and it has a seal here that prevents dirt from clogging this part so when you see when you when you put this on this actually is the only this bottom part here is where all the dirt goes in. So
so the dirt cup is pretty small it has a seal here that prevents um, dirt from seeping through this part which keeps this part clean and let's put this back together now I don't know how this robot this, this vacuum performs we'll find out later in the in the cleaning test let's try to put this back here I don't know how let's see now okay okay let's try to put this back I'm not sure how we'll figure it figure it out I'm gonna have to pause this video okay I've gotten the I put this back I've managed to put it back together and let's just attach this this wand here this extension wand take off this plastic and attach let's see if it clicks in place it seems like to click in place here so so here, here we go just push it back here see if it clicks in place okay it's it did take some effort but it did click in place now it's really a great sign that it has a locking mechanism here other cheap um, Chinese made vacuums don't have that feature so this is a big already a big improvement for for, for this product here let's attach okay now let's attach this main cleaning head again this is again obviously this is inspired by Dyson it has the really soft bristled brush here that picks up quite will pick up dust well but we'll, I won't find out until I test this so you better watch till the end of this video to, to see that see the cleaning test and let me just try to push this in place here and see okay it clicks in place so now this one is not extendable I don't see any mechanism that extends this one so reach is pretty limited now this is I think this is an extension one for, for for attaching this on so so this product so this part when you attach this this um, tool here it doesn't have any locking mechanism so it only relies on friction so when you attach this here it doesn't click in place but it only relies on friction so this could be a a part that could break in the long run depending on how how good the plastics um, are used if it uses good quality plastic I don't think that it'll break but if it if it uses um, inferior quality pr plastic I think it will it will crack over time so, but so I wouldn't know we wouldn't know until I've, I've used this for for several months now let's try to um, let's try to attach this on this part here so this part attaches here so when you this one also clicks in place so this this you can use this to clean areas like the ceiling ceiling fans vents or cobwebs of edges of ceilings so it's pretty a pretty handy tool now <clears throat> does not have any more tools included so I've already emptied the box here so this this product does not have any mini mini motorized brush similar to to the Dyson here so now let's move on to the cleaning test one more thing this this product does not have does not come with any wall bracket so when you store this you have to find a place to store it. It doesn't have any wall bracket, and the plug, and this plug, um, plugs to this part here. I'm looking for the oh. When you look at this part here, excuse me, this is where you plug this charger, and I'll charge this before before, before doing the cleaning test. So this is an auto volt. 
this works 110 and 220 volts so this is auto volt doesn't have any bracket doesn't have any mini motorized brush it has the main cleaning head and the combo brush and crevice tool and I will compare the suction with the Dyson and see if this has at least similar similar power before I start the cleaning test let me just show you some other features let me just take off this bracket here to show you how the motorized brush looks like so I'll just pop this out this um, piece pops out with a you just turn this dial here and when you it reveals a motorized brush that's held by this belt here it has a belt this drives the brush and the belt connects to this ribbed area here this part of the brush that's ribbed and the brush itself is soft it uses soft really soft bristles I think this will do well on fine dirt like dust so I'll be spreading out a lot of dirt on the floor and see how well this 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 handheld picks up and uh, this vacuum picks up and I'll I'm not sure how this will do on on rugs we'll find out later too maybe on a separate video so let me just put this back in so let me just pop this back in and this make sure the belt goes on the rib part of this brush so that it it will spin the it drives the this drives the brush it has its own motor so I, I think agitation will be will be pretty good at least on bare floor and let's just put this back in let's just pop this back and turn this dial here to lock it in place so and you can con you can connect this direct on the motor pops into place and when you let me just try to turn this on so it has a trigger so unlike the Dyson that where you have to constantly squeeze the trigger this one when you squeeze it it locks in place so it's it's pretty loud I'm not sure how powerful the motor is and let's just plug this back in before I do my cleaning test and this this head um, swivels it has a swiveling head and just take this off and this crevice tool tool also pops in place here pull this forward it becomes a brush tool I've shown this earlier and this is the main this is the extension wand and it's it's made of hard plastic so now it's time for the cleaning test okay for this cleaning test I'll be trying to clean this big pile of dirt it includes is that the pile of dirt daddy yes Ben this includes um, some dust bunnies and oats and see, let's see how the what is the dust bunny daddy cleaning head can pick this up will it pick this up daddy Okay, so um, you'll notice that it's snow plowed most of the dirt here. Is it no plowed, Daddy? Daddy, is it no plowed? It's snow plowed dirt here on the ground. That's because this is a pretty big pile. Is it pretty good pile, Daddy? And yes, man, it's it's pretty messy. And I'll try to I'll try to use the crevice tool. Is to, that the to clean this up and let's see how it does how did it does
Okay, so that did the job. The crevice tool did the job. And it's not for the lack of power that Is this it not vacuum the lack of power it wasn't able the to deep? pick up the, the mess. It's because it's because of this this um, cleaning head that's Is it that the cleaning head? pretty low profile here. I'll just try to use powder in the next segment of this video and see how it does. I'll just show you what's underneath and I'll pause this video. Okay, now I have powder here, just pure powder. Is that powder, Daddy? Yes, and this is a good test. Is it a good um, test? This, is a, this test is to replicate dust, fine dust. What is a fine dust? Okay, now I was able to pick up most of the dust on the floor. If you Is it look, pick up the dust on the floor? If you look closely it? here, it did leave some. It yeah. did leave some uh, remnants of dust it did leave on the crevices dust, of this flooring here. And now let's try rolled oats. See how it does. It see how it does. Okay, for the next test, I have some rolled oats scattered on what's the floor. Rolled oats, Daddy. That that's rolled oats, man. And let's see how this roll this the F six does the Baya F six. Okay, so it did really a good job. It was able to pick up all of the oats scattered on the floor. And now let's look at the bin and see the dirt and how you empty it. Okay, I have the I took off the, the stick part of the vacuum, and this is the bin. I, I was wrong, it's not fully sealed. Dirt goes up in this area <coughs> of, the, of the vacuum. But but this primary filter here, this mesh part of the filter blocks these large particles of dirt from seeping through the main paper element filter inside. So let's open this. To open this, you need to press this lever here to separate the motor. This is the motor and this is the bin. And to empty it, you just have to open it. Um, pop this levers off, and you will. You have to pop the levers off. Yes, Ben. And this is the primary filter here. This area is a primary filter. It's not the same cyclonic filtration as the Dyson. It's not the cyclonic filtration but it does, as it, the Dyson, it's Daddy. A, it does a pretty good job of <coughs> blocking off large particles of dirt you'll notice that when you combine all of this <coughs> this is this is a pretty substantial amount of dirt and not a not an upright type of capacity but for quick cleanups this is more than enough space and i'm pretty impressed with the power that this vacuum has only i'm, I'm pretty concerned about the, the cleaning head it um, it's pretty low profile, so I, I'm 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 pretty curious how it does on carpet. Maybe it will do a better job on carpet. But for large <coughs> large um, piles of dirt that you've seen, when I when I when I try to clean these dust bunnies, 
it snow plowed it but that's the worst case scenario and if that's where a Dyson soft roller cleaning head really really is effective and hopefully Debea can come up with a similar product similar to the Dyson or the Shark the new Shark is really good and this is this product is also pretty good in terms of suction and again to empty to let me just open up this filter just for you just to see it for you to see what's inside let's see the filter how dirty it is isn't dirty it is daddy yeah, it's it's pretty dirty man so <coughs> you'll you, you'll notice here that it has a lock and an open so you just twist so you just twist the handle here to open it and you can see that the filter here is pretty pretty messy ben ben don't don't touch man so i'll clean this up later on to lock it, you just twist it. And if you like this video, um, please, please like it and subscribe. And I'll do more cleaning tests with the F6. Check the link below for the latest price of this product and the latest coupon codes. And everything is in the description below. And see you in the next video.